Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Flushi, your Virginia Traffic and Misdemeanor Defense Attorney, here to talk to you about something simple that every motorist needs to know, and I find that a lot of people don't know. What documents do you need to have in your glove box when you're driving around in Virginia? Let's start with a simple document you should have in your pocket or your purse if you're a lady, your driver's license. Yes, by law, in Virginia, you need to carry your driver's license when you drive. That's simple. Hopefully everyone knows that. It's a minor $10 ticket if you're caught without having your license in your possession, but who wants to deal with that and have to pay the $61 of court costs on top of that? So keep your license with you when you're driving. What do you need to have in your glove box, though? Well, frankly, it's pretty simple. We have these little document holders that we give out to people to help you understand what you need to have in your glove box. It's really simple. So here you have three different documents. So what you can see here is your inspection receipt. You can see your proof of liability insurance and your vehicle registration. These three documents you need to have in your vehicle. They just stay in your glove box. It's really simple. When you get the new one each year, you take the old one out, you shred it, you put the new one in. Don't keep nine years of vehicle registrations in your vehicle because then you ever get pulled over someday and the officer says, lend you see your license and registration and you're fumbling through your papers. Oh, it's not that one. It's not that one. Oh, maybe it's this one. No, no ma'am, it's not that one. Show me another one. I see this routinely where people have to fumble to find the proper paperwork for the officer. But if you have yourself a simple document holder or even just an envelope, you stick your three documents in, you can just hand the whole thing to the officer. He may say, please pull it out for me, and then you can just simply pull out the one that he's asking to see. So it's really simple. You have your registration card. It says at the top, Virginia Motor Vehicle Registration. Really simple. This card's got to be in your vehicle. When you get your new one, you take the old one out and you shred it. The other documents you have, which I keep on the other side of the holder, is you have your liability insurance card. It says Virginia Insurance Identification Card. That way, if you're ever in an accident, you've got your proof of insurance. And always just make sure that you got the correct dates on there, that you're not shredding the current one and you're you know, keeping the old one or something. Keep Make sure it's got the correct dates. And then the third document is your proof of your inspection. This is the one that's got the Virginia seal on it right there. So that way you can show the officer that your inspection sticker is valid. You know, there are plenty of cases where people think, oh, I've got a good inspection sticker, but then they don't have the actual receipt to show that it was validly inspected. If you ever, if you have a proper inspection, you're going to be given the white receipt. It used to be the little pink slip that was hard to read. Now they've got the white piece of paper that's got the state seal in the background. That shows an officer that you do have a legit inspection. So what are the four things you need to have when you're driving? A, you got to have your driver's license. Simple. B, you got to have your registration for your vehicle. C, you need your insurance liability card. And then finally, D, your inspection. All these things should be in your vehicle at all times. Really simple, stick them in an envelope, a little folder, or just paper clip them together under your visor maybe. Have them handy so that way you can show them to an officer. And that brings me to the glove box. What else should be in the glove box? Nothing other than maybe your car manuals. Don't chalk your glove box full of stuff especially illegal stuff that you, the officer might see when you have to reach in to pull out these documents. Don't keep your marijuana in your glove box. Better yet, don't smoke marijuana. But if you do, don't be carrying around contraband in the same place with your documents that you got to give to the officer. That's just stupid. All right, so keep your documents where you can get to them handily, where you can hand them over to an officer if you're at a roadblock or if you're pulled over. Don't do illegal things. Keep everything in order and you won't have any problems. Y'all have a great day.